Hello and welcome to another edition of a Niger Man's Perspective. Today I'm going to be covering a story, really, really tragic story, uh, about this lady who had an issue. Uh, she suspected some burglars or a burglar was at a house and so she called the police and let's watch what happens next. Shocking body camera video released today shows the deadly police shooting of Sonia Massey. The mother of two called 911 just before 1 a.m. because of a possible prowler only to be shot by a deputy inside her own Illinois home. The now former deputy faces three counts of first degree murder. CBS's Roxana Saberi has the video that shows the chaotic moments. And we do want to warn you that it is hard to watch. The body camera video reveals the events leading up to the horrific scene. What took you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? My medicine stuff. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Inside the home, Sangamon County Sheriff's Deputy Sean Grayson can be heard asking Sonia Massey to check on the stove. We don't need a fire while we're here. Within seconds, things become tense. Where you going? Uh huh? Where you going? Uh, away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Huh? Rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But no, that's where you're going. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. That's all she said. And viewers, look at what he's saying. You better effing not. I swear to God, I'll effing shoot you right in your effing face. Because she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Please comment down below if you think what she said warrants him even saying this in the first place. But let's keep watching. Massey starts to set down the pot and apologizes. Grayson fires three times, striking her in the face. Heads out with the female, 1078. Prosecutors say Grayson's partner tried to give the 36-year-old first aid, even though Grayson discouraged him. I'm going to go get my kick. Cut off your head, you get your, she's done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. Civil yeah. rights attorney Benjamin Crump. Viewers. America and violence. America and violence. What did that woman do? What did she do that was wrong? What did she say that was wrong? That warranted a policeman opening a fire, opening his fire, and shooting her in the head three times, killing her on the spot. What did she do? What kind of... <sighs> I'll give my final thoughts towards the end. It was really, really distressing. Distressing to watch this. Really, really distressing to watch this. Let's keep watching. Representing Massey's family. Sonya needed a hip and hand when she got a shot to the face by the police. James Wilburn is Massey's father. I'm heartbroken. I just don't know what to say. What's the hardest part about this for you? I think the last words that my daughter said to me was, Daddy, I love you. Hmm. And to know and realize that I won't see her again. I can't talk to her again. I can't touch her again. Man, I can't, you know, as a father myself, I can't, I can't imagine this. I, I feel his pain as a father would feel the pain. America. Grayson has pleaded not guilty. When reached by CBS News today, his attorney declined to comment. Last week, Grayson was fired from the sheriff's department. Documents obtained by CBS News show he has worked for six different law enforcement agencies since 2020. Nora? That's noteworthy, Roxana Saberi. Thank you. Shock. 
viewers if you're new to my channel please give this video a like and share it to as many people as possible you see america has a violence problem america has a violence problem it's not just the people that are even buy guns and use them uh you know indiscriminately don't want to go into mass murders mass shootings just the tiniest of disagreements can lead into you literally getting shot and killed but when the police when those that are supposed to protect and guide and guard you especially when you've reported you've called them because a burglar was about to come to the house and yeah she was Putting something on the stove, the steam from the from 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 the stove, and the guy made a comment, and the next thing she said is, "I re I rebuke I rebuke it in Jesus' name." How does "I rebuke it in Jesus' name" translate into a threat? Because I understand that if you threaten a, a policeman or a policewoman, as the case may be, they have the training, and I'll come to training in a bit. That they have the training or their training tells them that they have to protect themselves. You can't, you can't, you can't assault a police officer. But to now shoot and kill. What kind of training allows you to do something like this? Unless there's a personal bias. A personal bias. And it's the same thing. They will they will suspend him. He'll go to court. He'll say he was found not guilty. And then he'll go to court and maybe he might plead insanity or, or whatever. We keep reporting this day in, day out. We keep hearing about these kinds of things day in, day out. It never stops in America. It just continues. The violence just continues. One day, I hope in my lifetime that america gets to a point where these kinds of stories go to a bare minimum but i'm sure i'm 100 percent sure if i scout the internet and i go to some of the local channels uh, online i will see stories like this every single day i was speaking to my friend about this literally yesterday and he said to me he said this happens that we're even numb to it in the u.s he stays in new jersey we're numb to this in the u.s we don't it's not even news he didn't even know it happened, guys. I had to send it to him. He didn't even know it happened. When would this violence stop? When? They just seem to be reactive. It will happen. Policeman will kill someone. George Floyd was the other day, not too long ago, almost four years ago. There are other extra judicial, uh, judicious killings. Every single day, every single month, every single week in the U.S., If it's not somebody's resisting arrest, was she resisting arrest? No. Was she trying to take the firearm from the police uh, police officer? No. Did she throw a weapon at the police officer? No. So why did the police officer kill her? Why? Why? Guys, if you have a contrary opinion or you have a comment, please leave it down below. I need you to be involved in this particular video. I want to hear what your thoughts are. If you live in the U.S. and or you're in, you're in law of uh, you're in law enforcement or you have a contrary view to this, please put your comments down below. Share this video, like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have a goal. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by December. I'm just over 600. So help in a perspective. Help me grow. And I'll see you in the next one.